Welcome to the August 2020 Park City Market Talk webinar. I'm Ron Wilstein, a broker at Keller Williams Luxury Properties here in Park City, Utah. And I want to make sure you all know that Park City is open. How open? It is seriously open. Lots of people are up here. They are enjoying some of the best mountain biking trails available to you. Of course, there's plenty of hiking. There's other activities you can do socially distanced. And if you want tips as to what some of those choices are, Go to the parkcitymountain.com website for the Park City Resort. From there, you can head over to deervalley.com, see what Deer Valley is hosting. And then Park City's newest resort is Woodward Park City, and that's at woodwardparkcity.com. And you can learn about that resort, and it's a pretty cool place, so you definitely want to check it out. It is definitely a time to enjoy Park City today, so come on out and do that. I want to share with you three things to know about Park City Real Estate to save you big bucks. They are, where's the market been, where's the market going, and how to reduce property taxes. Now each month we provide you with statistics as to what the market's doing in our segment on the Park City Real Estate Market Update. From there we're going to look at what I presented last month in our monthly webinar, my future outlook for the Park City Real Estate Market, the timeline I created with phases, and from there, we'll get a future outlook for the Park City real estate market, looking specifically at four key categories, primary homes, secondary homes, rental properties, and vacant land. Our third topic has to do with the time of year, and it's property tax time again. And whenever it's property tax time, that's in August each year, that's when we want to take a look at your tax notice and see if you're entitled to a reduction in your taxes. If you are, then we want to share with you how you can pay your property taxes. So that's what's on our agenda for today's webinar. Let's take a look at the Park City real estate market. Over the past year, there's been 1,350 sales. That's all homes, condos, and vacant land combined, and that's all real estate brokerages combined. That is up 105 sales, or 8%, from that same time period the year before. When we break it down by comparison, homes condos and lots. We look at this graph here and we're looking at with the red bars the time period from August 2019 to July 2020 and the silver bar represents that same time period the year before so it's a year-to-year -year comparison. In terms of number of transactions in the home category uh, just up by 7 from 521 to 528 that's a 1 percent increase. The condominium saw many more sales up to 689 from the pre previous 588. That's a 17% increase in the number of sales of condominiums. Lot sales, we don't have that many overall for the whole year, but it dropped by three, which is a 2% statistical decline from 136 to most recently 133. Now this graph here shows you homes, and now I've broken it into Park City and the Snyderville Basin, the the Park City County area, if you will. Inside the city limits when it comes to homes, exactly the same number of homes year over year at 171, where the Snyderville Basin saw a slight 2% increase from 350 home sales to 357. Turning our attention now to condominiums, we see an increase in both categories. In the Park City limits, a 4% increase bringing the previous 297 sales for the year up to 308. But in the side of a basin, we see a whopping 31% increase, climbing all the way up to 381 from 291, so 90 additional condominium sales. We've been reporting on each month that increase of the condominium activity in the Snyderville Basin. This graph here looks at vacant land sales, and you can see in the Park City city limits, there's been an increase. There's not a a lot of sales that happen there because there's just not much land available anymore. But it increased by four sales or 19%, climbing from 21 sales the previous year to 25. In the Snyder Basin, we actually saw a decline in the lot sales by about 6% from 115 to 108. But remember, the condominiums offset that significantly, so that accounts for part of the adjustment there. Now let's take a look at uh, what's happening with regards to pricing. Everyone wants to know how their property values are going. Here we're looking at home medium sold prices, year over year comparison. In the Park City limits, we've seen a 5% increase 
from the previous median price of two million forty thousand to the current one of two million one hundred forty seven thousand five hundred. So even in the midst of uh, the COVID uh, nineteen pandemic, we are seeing an increase five percent. Snyderville Basin, we see a four percent increase, climbing to one million three hundred twenty three. 735 from the previous 1,275,000 figures. So prices are going up quite respectively in the home market. In the condominium market, we see a 6% increase in the Park City limits, climbing from 773,000 all the way up to 820,000 for the median price, and a very significant 27% increase up to 700,000 medium sold price. That is climbing from the previous 549,250. So quite significant in the Snyderville Basin. In the category of vacant land, we saw there were four additional sales and it pushed the values up 24% uh, from a million fifty thousand medium price to a million three uh, medium price. But keep in mind that you know there's not a large sampling in the selection of lots that so it accounts for uh, the increase, not just pure value of land. In the Snyderville Basin, we did see a drop in land values. We also saw a drop, as you saw earlier, on the number of sales. It dropped about 8% from the previous 420,000 all the way down to 476,750. If you like to look at um, average time on the market, it gives us a sense of how long it's taken homes to sell or to sit if they're overpriced. Average uh, length of time for homes to sell is 107 days, so about three and a half months. And the average time that properties are staying on the market without selling is double that, 217 days, so seven months. So uh, we like to stress that price your property correctly, it will sell within a reasonable time. If you overprice it, which I hate to admit, but it's common in Park City, then they sit without selling. The last month's Park City Market Talk webinar. I introduced you to my future outlook for the Park City real estate market. What I did is I created a timeline of 24 months starting at the beginning of 2020. And I picked that length of time because with the outbreak starting in March for most places and Dr. Fauci saying that it took would take between 12 to 18 months to have a vaccine at the soonest, I wanted to have a projection for those who invest in real estate in Park City, whether a buyer or seller, as to uh, what is likely to occur and then uh, talk about our marketplace. So I created this timeline and I included seven different phases and talked about different questions that we're facing or actually in the uh, fourth phase, the success or the setback phase right now. Um, but if you want to watch a video where I go into this in detail, you can go to our website buyparkcity.com forward slash COVID-19 update and there you'll get a uh, you know, more detailed explanation. Also in that video, I talk about four major categories in Park City real estate, primary homes, secondary homes, rental properties, and vacant land, and give you an update as to what's happening with those categories in the current uh, outbreak. I do want to just mention here in this webinar that the primary home market is, uh, well, best way to put it is it's hot. Uh, it's selling. There was a pause and it was about a month, month and a half, and then it came back gangbusters. People have been buying properties. A lot of people are just trying to get out of their city life and getting to a place they can enjoy the outdoors and distance a bit more. So the Park City primary home market has been hot. On the other hand, the rental property market has not been hot. In fact, one could say it's been chilly um, because people have been felt uncertain about what's going to happen with the rental property. Are we going to see the rental income that I'm accustomed to getting year in and year out in light of maybe the resorts won't be open or the restaurants won't be fully functioning by the upcoming ski season? Just a lot of questions there. Um, so it's it definitely has been chilly, fewer transactions there. But I do have to admit that over the last two to three weeks, uh, we're seeing that ice starting to melt uh, because there are investors coming in and saying, uh, I'll roll the dice here. I'm willing to buy a property. I've always wanted one at Park City. And they are seeing greater discounts there where some of these investors are simply requiring it because of the slowdown and the uncertainty. So again, we talk about that in that webinar. 
uh, go to COVID-19 update and you can watch it and uh, I think you'll find that helpful. That page on the website is a new page, it's under development and we're going to be adding other information there with respects to um, school updates and resort updates and restaurant updates and just one stop place you can go to get an update what's happening in Park City. If you own a property in Park City right around the 1st of August you would have received your tax notice looks like this and this is the form that uh, Summit County sends out and some of you may own property in Wasatch County it's a similar form where they look at your property they compare what the uh, the value was in the previous year and they look at what they're projecting for 2020 and the budgets and then they tell you basically what they anticipate your taxes to be. You want to take a look at those, review it carefully because there's a chance that your property may have been overvalued. Um, now the values are based upon what it was on January 1st of 2020 but if your property was overvalued based upon past sales then you should get this adjusted prior to the September 15th deadline uh, because if you don't you'll be paying more taxes than you should. I can tell from the statistic program that we are seeing prices continue to rise but there's a bit of a lag factor that comes into play with the county record so definitely want to take a look at that, review it carefully and uh, let's make sure we're not giving the uh, Summit County any more money than they're entitled to. I do have a webinar on this very subject, goes into it in detail on my website under the webinar library. Uh, go to buyparkcity.com forward slash market info or I'll just take you to it real quickly. Uh, here's the website. Just go up here to market info, click on it, and there is the webinar library. Here we have a lot of, uh, let me get out of the way a lot of different webinars put into different categories or market talk webinars, buyer webinars, seller webinars, special topic webinars, neighborhood webinars. Anyway, if you go to the special topic webinar, click on that, you'll see it here in the bottom right hand corner. There's a webinar that will explain exactly how to walk through your tax form, what to look for, and what action to take if uh, the value seems to be too high. What you can also do is if you want is you can simply send me an email and uh, if you send an email with your tax notice, then I'll simply take a look at it and uh, do a quick preliminary and see if you're entitled to uh, maybe an appeal, putting together a case for one, and if not, I'll let you know that quickly. Anyway, just send it to ron at willsteamteam.com. Make sure I've got your contact information. I'll look at that. I'll get back to you on that, and, uh, and you'll know for, for a year. And then this repeats every year in August. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or to any member of my team. I can be reached by email at ron at willsteamteam.com or our office number is 435-487-0151. And if you'd like a call back, please include your phone number, a preferred time, and I'll get back to you. With that in mind, thank you for watching our webinar. Uh, please bookmark buyparkcity.com. Lots of valuable information in addition to what I've shared in today's webinar.